Hey guys, it's Cindy here, and we're back with another video. So today, it's a brand new Animal Jam update, yet again, somehow. So, on the cover here is Phantom's Rule. We have taken control of the lines of, of power that is definitely not spelled correctly, and then use them to twist up Jawan Township like never before. These are like two messages by the Alphas about these lines of power. They're both pretty similar. Looks pretty normal to me. WHAT THE sh Club Geos is back! Oh my god, I missed this. I can't believe it added it back. I- I- I guessed it. I mean, it was kind of obvious, but... I- I didn't know they would actually do it. I never thought I'd see the day when they'd return it. And how many people are online?! There, there haven't been, like, this many full servers in, in years! I hope it stays like this. It, it probably won't. But, wow. What a way. What a way to start this one's Night of the Phantoms, eh? Apparently, you can buy new Club Geos hats in different variants in Epic Wonders. The original Club Geos was once destroyed by the lines of power when they were activated by an eclipse. Why have the lines returned to us inverted? Music can be the means of generating light and dark energy. Geos could be a potent source of power. That's ominous. But hey, Club Geos is back! Uh, the pillow groom is just straight up gone. Uh, you know. But you know, we could have done with it. We could do without that. Oh, it's over here now. Interesting. Now we move on to something else. I was recalling earlier that Juno is glowing, and it seems like Juno's glowing brighter and brighter every single time it updates, so... And I was this little note here. I've often returned here to pay my respects to Juno and seek their presence. Now, though, something has changed. The statue glows like an afterimage. Does their spirit linger, or is moved somewhere else? Huh. Move somewhere else. Like, maybe in Club Geos? With all this talk about Play Wild, maybe Juno's spirit moved to Play Wild, but how would that be possible? Because it's an alternate dimension. Wouldn't there be versions of Juno in both dimensions? Well, Little Juno Play Wild doesn't have Belouche. Um, it has Musa Terra instead. So maybe? I I kind of hope not, because I like that Juno is special to Animal Gem Classic. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm just a little biased here. The energy within Jama has two facets, light and dark. Those forces are within reach of us as well. Light side comes from hope, imagination, and clarity. Dark side comes from power, emotion, and drive. So this is just a little lore tidbit about these two. This is interesting. It reminds me of my own lore that I made up run Animal Gym about, like, elements and stuff. And here, the elements just appear to be light and dark, other than, like, all of the extraneous ones that I came up with, like, 19. <laughs> There could be a world very much like our own that is drawing the Phantom's attention. I hope his jettisons are up to the fight. It will surely take everything they have, both light and dark. Huh. I think they're referring to Play Wild here, because Play Wild, there's an event going on about light and dark. And, yeah, their version of Alpha Headquarters is in danger from the Phantoms. If phantoms are able to cross between their dimension and ours, are there yet other places they've invaded? Have we been overly confident in peace while the phantoms turn their eyes upon different worlds? Again, I think they're referring to play wild here, because in Animal Gem Classic, there's not really much going on this year. I mean, <laughs> there's not much going on this year, Club Geos just, you know, was re-added. But there haven't really been many signs of the phantoms other than that. And Play Wild's getting the, pretty much the brunt of it. Even the Phantoms had focused their intention away from Animal Jam Classic. The lines of power activating, tangling. Perhaps it was an unintentional effect, like the echo of thunder after lightning strikes. The Phantoms must have a greater goal. Unintentional. But if it was unintentional, how could it be unintentional? But, like, I thought the Phantoms didn't really like music, so... Um... Maybe inverting Jamal Township was actually an accident, and they're pretending it's not. Phantoms are able to travel between the, dimension, the Phantom Dimension and Jama. To remain stable, the Phantom Dimension must draw upon power from multiple sources. We have yet to identify them all. 
The phantoms tangled the lines of power, but the result was merely rearranged Demont Township. Why was there not greater destruction? Surely they could have destroyed Alpha Headquarters. Why does it stand? Maybe they let Alpha Headquarters stand in Animal Jam Classic because Club Geos is back anyways. And their goal is actually just to bring Club Geos back because it's a source of power. A dormant network of ancient power runs beneath Jama, known as lines of power. These lines can be attracted by great astronomical events, such as an eclipse, or by the collective, focused energy of many animals working together. This is how they're, like, doing the light versus dark event in Animal Gym Play Wild. They're having people choose sides, and I think the f aspect of people having to choose either light or dark pulls people apart, and I think that's the Phantom's goal. So in the meantime, the Phantoms are just doing their business, destroying all the headquarters and replacing it with Club Geos, because Club Geos is a source of power. And the animals can't really do anything about it because they're too busy fighting with each other.